Hi, my name's Caspian Deleuze. I'm a self-taught artist living on the northern beaches. I'm all about my family, friends, surfing, and art in all its forms. Welcome to my studio. Stuff I did for Pearl Jam quite a few years ago, back in 2006. 2008, I did a bunch of stuff for Quicksilver, a bunch of boards there. There's Kelly, Dane, Pink, last year when she toured. This one here I did in 2007, and she got me to do that for her husband, Kerry Hart, for a wedding present. Guys, it's Ben here from me, sir, for Cooper's TV. I'm down here chatting with Caspian Deleuze, one of Australia's more unrecognised artists, but the man is certainly making an impact. Caspian, thanks for your time, mate. Cheers, man. Thanks for having me. Can you tell me a little bit about what your craft is all about? I've always just drawn pictures for just the love of it, really. I used to do a lot of band posters and stuff, um, you know, years and years ago, like throughout the late 90s and early 2000s, and, and it sort of developed from there. It's just all just, yeah, that sort of surreal, sort of schizophrenic, crazy sort of artwork that I sort of love and always have loved. So, yeah, it's just developed from there. I've always, I've always loved pencil and uh, uh, felt pen, but then I sort of got in, right into uh, Posca pens. I've just, they've been pretty good to me. I've sort of developed a pretty, pretty cool style, and um, yeah, it seems to be in demand. And the best thing about being an artist, freedom. Most of the time, you get to do what you want. It's just about just creating something that you you love, and you know, you want to you want to do it again. And the worst thing, money, definitely, and uh, a lot of clients you have to deal with. Some of them are just. Heavy. <laughs> and, le and the funny thing about art is every everyone thinks that images just, just happen. They just appear from out of nowhere, but they don't. Oh, oh, oh. Any words of wisdom for other young budding craftsmen that are out there, you know, that are looking to get into this sort of scene into art and stuff? A, never give up. B, meet as many people as you can. Just And be as good as you can be. You, you are, as an artist, you are your portfolio. You are your work. you also got to have a pretty healthy ego, I think, to to be able to keep going as an artist. Yeah. <laughs> I've always drawn a lot of inspiration from rock posters, a lot of great surf art. I've always loved surfing. I've always loved waves. I've always drawn waves ever since I was a kid in high school, you know, not listening to my teachers and just drawing waves and guys surfing waves and and, and, and a lot of great artists, you know, that, that maybe came along later on. Comic art's always been huge. There's a huge movement now in, in the lowbrow art world, in especially America and all throughout the world, really, that's really cool. There's a lot of great street art, graffiti art. I've just put an apparel range together for Sulier. And, um, yeah, I've just got, I've got album, always got album covers on the go for some local bands. Uh, and, yeah, like, just recently I finished some work for Metallica, which was pretty good because I, I love my heavy music, my metal, and they've always been a great band that I've drawn a lot of inspiration from once again. And um, yeah, just uh, I've, I've got album covers, tattoo designs, it's, it's really quite a lot actually. If you weren't an artist, what would you be? I don't know, a pilot would be pretty good. Uh, rock star actually, I was in a band for a long time and I always loved being on stage, that was, that was a lot of fun. Well mate, thank you very much for your time. Cheers, it's been mate. a pleasure chatting with you and having a look through your uh, gallery. It's where the magic happens and thank you so much for coming down and having a look. Wow.